For more than six years now, it has remained a troubling mystery. Why did Sergeant Bo Bergdahl leave his post in Afghanistan in 2009 and end up as the longest held American POW since the Vietnam War? Now we finally got an answer from the podcast sensation Serial, which made a surprise return today featuring Bergdahl himself. We get more from NBC News national correspondent Peter Alexander. Sergeant Bo Bergdahl breaking his silence. For years, he was America's only prisoner of war after walking off his remote army outpost in Afghanistan in the middle of the night. 20 minutes out, I'm going, good grief, I'm in over my head. Suddenly, you know, it just really starts to sink in that I really did something bad. Bergdahl's compelling first-person account is featured in the new season of the wildly popular podcast, Serial. Bergdahl insists he wanted to warn commanders about leadership problems in his platoon before quickly concocting a new plan that he might track Taliban insurgents, casting himself as a super soldier. I was trying to prove to the world I am like, okay. I don't know, Jason Bourne. But critics argue Bergdahl, held hostage for nearly five years, was a traitor, later swapped for five Taliban detainees held at Guantanamo Bay. Bergdahl speaking with filmmaker Mark Bull, the man behind Hollywood blockbusters Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty, serial offering maximum exposure. The more information that people have about Sergeant Bergdahl, his motivation, uh, the better. 19 months after Bergdahl's release and the White House ceremony with his parents, today House Republicans argued in a 94-page report the Obama administration blindsided lawmakers with the prisoner swap. The administration intentionally violated the law by not informing Congress and misleading Congress about these negotiations. To this day, Bergdahl's haunted by his years in captivity. There's times when I'd wake up and it's just so dark. Like, I would wake up not even remembering, like, what I was. Awaiting a decision about his future, Sergeant Bergdahl is still an active duty soldier in San Antonio. If court-martialed, he could face life in prison. Peter Alexander, NBC News. Watch hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.